Welcome everyone. Today we've got the original Thunder Thighs. We've got the original Mama Chaos. Now here's a quick rundown on our builds. We've got a balanced, which I enjoy the most. It's got plenty of health, high on efficiency, not max efficiency you might notice, because I definitely want that duration for all of Nyx's abilities. And we also have a build that is meant to only be played with a team, like a Saren or a Mesa, something with some gnarly lethal abilities, but is kind of squishy. We're going to hop into an empty config and break it down. We've got her one, which is like, oh, you're commanding the enemy? I see you've got an x or an Ancient Healer. You're mine now. That's what her one does. Takes one target, makes it your little bitch. It's a beautiful ability. Probably the one I cast the most. We've got Psychic Bolts. It's a minor debuff. Ugh. I really struggle with this one. It's a minor debuff but that I never feel I need. Ever. Chaos, which is all her second. This whole loadout revolves around Chaos. That's all it does. I've even got the augment on there. As far as Absorb goes... It is in my balance build, because I do want that Terminator ability, just for fun. Nyx, Nyx is a fun frame, not a meta frame. Let's get that straight right now. Now, I could bore you with this one. I'm not going to. I'm going to jump right into the balance build. We've got durability, another odd form of durability. We have a ton of duration, and a whole lot of duration along with all the range. Aura, because always corrosive projection, right guys? Now, let's get some proper enemies in here. If I could spell. Wow, I must be on holiday or something. So, we are actually going to unpause them. Thanks, guys. Let's go ahead and let the chaos spread. As you might notice, I don't have to worry about a single enemy right now. And look at how long that's lasting! I got another 40 seconds of this. In ESO, this is an amazing ability. Your Saren will never have to heal anything at all. She will just blow through everything. But, you know, let's get some damage going. We're going to take him. And he is now ours. The AI does do some weird things in the simulacrum, and I, you, how you should be using her one, find an x miss, cast her one on that, then cast your three. Oh, looks like it ran out. So let's just refresh it. My nose, that was pretty dang quick. That was... <gasps> that was a piece of cake. Now we're also going to get a debuff going. Here's her two. Yeah, I don't see any difference either. That's, that's the problem with her two. But let's... Let's hop down into the thick of it. And go full Terminator. I love this. As you might notice, self damage does not do anything for you here. But the enemy is just... They can sit here and light me up all they want. I'm invulnerable, and I can move. Now, I can't roll. I can't slide. I really can't do anything. It's just going to explode when I run out. Now, if you do take damage... <laughs> these guys. If you do take damage, you can really just hop into your absorb, and it'll take care of anything that you were going to worry about. But 
that's really what Nyx does. She's not so much in killing things. You do need to bring good weapons. I did not bring adequate guns for this kind of, this high of a level. But this is just, just for fun. You will never take the most damage as Nyx. It's just not going to happen, guys. You're never going to do it. Yeah, and you shouldn't try to. Nyx is for fun. Nyx is for helping out your teammates. Enjoy good old Thunder Thighs with the pterodactyl head. And just play the game. Don't worry about it. If you guys enjoyed this, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. And I hope you all have a great new year.